And a good day, everyone. John Henderson, Pierre the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another rambling edition today. We're looking at Chihuahua, Cheveze, Rico, from the Chihuahua Brewing Company, based in uh, Newport, California, Newport Beach, California. I had this beer in my freezer for just a while ago, and, um, and uh, my freeze actually did quite a good job, you know. <laughs> Um, bringing Mexican and American cultures together, the place where the waters of the rivers meet. Um, there are four different brands, of varietal brands of beer that this company puts out. They have their, their Primo beer, they have their Guava Lime and their Limon beer. Their Guava Lime is sort of a low carb, uh, calorie beer, and then their a regular beer with your standard lager that's five percent, and then that lime beer, which is kind of like your, you know, like maybe um, Bud Light Lime or many others like it. So, anyway, here's what the beer looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Um, six point five percent. Maybe we're going to liquor territory. Maybe well, who knows? Um, but it's available in a very few handful of states right now, um, but the beer is distributed by AB InBev, so it's just a matter of time. I guess they're just test marking it right now, maybe in these states right now. It's available here in Georgia where I purchased it, um, but also in Flo neighboring Florida, Arkansas, OK, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Kansas, and Texas. So, and again, as I said, well, soon enough, AB InBev, if things go well, It'll be pretty much everywhere through their distribution through them. Most times, most of these companies that do these distri uh, distributorships is basically what it is. It's just like, hey, let's or these deals to get together. Hey, let's see if we could expand our stuff. You know. Um. In any event, um, I started doing a review of this beer, and all of a sudden, there's just the video quality. I just didn't like. I was like, you know what? I'm just. Nah, I think I'm gonna. Re redo this again so extra cold to drink these extra strong beers you know powerful lagers i like to call them i don't know if it's called malt liquor range but um i don't know maybe you really remember probably y'all do remember uh, ice house as well as uh milwaukee's best miller decided whatever genius said this do this decided to change the abv of both of their beers from Ice house from 5.9 to 6.9 percent. Milwaukee's best ice from 5.9. Excuse me. Ice house 5.5 to 6.9 percent, and well, yeah, ice house from 5.5 to 6.9 percent, and Milwaukee's best ice from 5.9 to 6.9 percent. Uh, both of them were epic failures. I did try the ice house 6.9 percent, and I said, yeah, ooh, they were really going far with this one. Um, so, um, in any event, but both of those were epic failures, didn't succeed. So, hey, things happen. You try, you take a whiff, woof, woof, you try. Yeah, I'm doing my review in my new place right now, guys. I got a little apartment, just moved recently. So, all is good with the world. Starting new life in Georgia. So, anyway, back to the beer. Yeah, um, it looks like extra cold. Like I said, I put this in the freezer. It's a little bit of malty, malty, but there's a little tad sweetness to this. I don't know the different types. It does have a corn, it has a little corn syrupy taste, but it does have a it is not overly malty, but slight malt. Definitely some barley in this, without question. Mm. So, you know, it's you know some to try, you know. A little lemony, a bit citrusy in this as well. So, 
Oh, well. I don't know, guys. Maybe, I mean, it could, could manage. It does manage. Slight feel to it. Mm. Yeah. It is extra heavy. I will say that, man. Yeah. But then again, uh, Molson Triple X is heavy. Um, I would say that's probably the closest comparison I could give this beer to is, Mols is the Molson Triple X, which we get here. Um, I won't look, put it in the same category as Mickey's, but... It is, you know, it's it's interesting, guys. I mean, it's an interesting flavor. I mean, nonetheless, I mean, so I don't know. I mean, it's all right. I mean, I ain't gonna say it's horrible, but it's okay. So, um, again, the brewing, as I mentioned, um, they had this on draft. At the, these locations, they say now, I guess it's some bar in Georgia. Again, because I'm in the state, you know, they, they do have it on drive. I'm probably be even more amazing to have on drive any beer, even your crappy American crap that many of you love to disparage. And when it's on drive, you know it's fresh and it's going to taste awesome. So let's just be real, no matter what it is. If it's a stout or a pale ale, whatever. Versus a can or a, or a, or a bottle. Um, yeah, they do have these in cans and do have these in bottles too. So, but um, yeah, I think that it's just a little bit, maybe, I don't want to say overly heavy. I mean, you know, now heavy, obviously the extra strong beers, you know, the malt like the high gravity beers, <clears throat> excuse me, got me some carb there. Would would definitely say that's heavy. Eight point one percent, point five, but six point five percent, I guess, is kind of reasonable. Um, again, the closest thing I can compare this beer to that's on that same level is Molson Triple X Seven, you know, which is seven point three percent. That's an extra strong, but I don't know. If people will consider that a malt liquor. I don't know a high grab extra strong beer, or maybe the PBR extra. Um, which I've seen here, and I don't know what's going on with PBR. It just seems that they're just, their distributorship is just, uh, for whatever the reason. I mean, yeah, PBR can get anywhere, but the extra or even the locale, even the hard seltzer. I mean, um, I was, you know, when I arrived here, visited my brother. I mean, there's some places you can get it, and some places it's like, you know, this area you can get in this part of town, you can get in this part of town, that part. Even when I was living in Mobile, it was the same situation. It was like, uh, here and then uh, there. And sometimes you get across the bay. And when I was working out in Baldwin County, Alabama, I would get at this certain grocery store and that sort of, it was just a mess, so. Anyway, um, yeah, it just has a very lemony, very citrusy, but you know, overall it's decent again. Super cold, folks. Don't drink this at, you know, put it in the fridge. Make sure it's in, it got in the freezer, put it out, drink it. That's when it's at its, these beers are, are at its best, when they're extra, extra cold, you know. Not any, there's no other way to have it, you know. Um, you know, the refrigerator temperature, but, you know, put it, stuff like this, put this in the freezer. You Believe me, you'll get your money's worth. Trust me. So, um, I'm going to go... There's a sweetness to it. There's also a bit of a, I don't say it's off, but this is it's a limey flavor I'm getting. But um, eh, but it's okay. So I'm going to go B- minus on this one. Um, you can see it at your service station. They have it. Liquor store, they have it. You know, they have it at, at, at grocery stores too. I've seen it. At Publix here, not far from me. So um, I'm gonna go with the same score, guys. Uh, I think this is a ah, same score. Ugh, I'm just blabbing right now. I'm gonna go B minus on this one. So this is gonna be a seven nine, a B, seven point nine score, eight. I think that's a bear fair. B minus for the Chihuahua 
Rico, Chihuahua, Rico, Chihuahua, Cheveze, Rico, extra strong beer. Um, that's my review. Right. John Anderson Pierre, the Beverage Ramble. So keep on watching. And as always, cheers, live, laugh, and love. Chihuahua, Chihuahua, Cheveze, yay.